Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another way to make money with Canva, and that is by creating a digital product, specifically children's coloring books. As you can see, this seller who's selling children's coloring books has made close to a million dollars on Etsy selling similar products. So step one is generate prompts in ChatGPT. Open up ChatGPT and write this prompt. So it's going to give us 10 prompts for images that we need to generate. Step two, we're gonna use Dali E to actually uh, generate these images, but you can also, of course, use the standard built-in ChatGPT model as well. As you can see, uh, it's even saying that this is a legacy model and you can use the standard ChatGPT model. It doesn't matter. Both of them will do the job. So, if you go to GPTs, find Dali E on ChatGPT, and then start writing prompts like what I'm doing. So what I'm essentially trying to do is I'm trying to generate these books by using AI. And the main part is I need them to be, of course, black and white. So it's, it's like a children's coloring book. So they can actually color it. I don't really want to see any grace on there. I don't want to see any shadows. I don't want to see any like already filled in uh, uh, spaces. I want this to be literally black and white so children can actually color it and I can turn it into a book. These for now are really raw generations. So I'm gonna actually choose the best ones. Then I'm gonna drop it into Canva and then of course turn it into much better, much more polished designs. So now the designs that I like, I'm actually going to just save it on my computer and then like I said, I'm gonna be turning them over back into Canva and then I'm gonna proceed from there. So you should have 10 images because we just generated 10 prompts. So once you have downloaded all the 10 images, step three is upload it to Canva and of course, clean it up. Like I said, clean it up. If we're creating a digital product that somebody is actually gonna be, you know, uh, downloading and then printing out, people are gonna print it out most likely unless somebody's coloring on an iPad, Why? Right? So they have to be really clean. They have to be, they have to look like a final product, right? So add some of these designs and I'm gonna show you one thing that is super important. It's not like a massive deal if you're creating it for your own kid or whatever, but if you're gonna be selling it, if you have this background, as you can see, there is some grayish or, you know, some kind of like whitish background, you wanna get rid of it. And uh, Canva has this background remover feature. I think it's only available on Pro, but uh, it's not a big deal if you can just sign up for a trial if you wanna create some of these books. I think Canva has like a one month free trial if I remember correctly. So if the background is not removed or something happens, whatever, you can of course go back to Dali E or ChatGPT and really regenerate a similar image. Just ask it to regenerate the similar image and actually add in the prompt that the background has to be white. Then of course, what you want to do is you want to align it in the best possible way. And like I said, our goal is to have these images with the least amount of gray spaces. We want them to be like fully colorable. For example, here, this roof is actually gray, not so ideal for coloring. Also, this image has a lot of gray spaces as well. I might go to ChatGPT to actually remake that as well. This video is sponsored by PRBoost.io, the go-to PR platform for brands that want instant authority. Well, it basically gets you published on major media outlets like Yahoo Finance, Business Insider, and over 200 other sites with no PR agency required. But the best part is they also write the press release for you as well, and that's already included in the price. If you're on a website, you need a PR package. Adding as seen on media badges instantly builds trust and significantly boosts conversions. PR Boost is rated 4.9 stars on reviews.io with hundreds of satisfied clients. I'm gonna drop the link in my description, so go check them out, get featured, get trusted, get results. But for this video, I'm showing you how to make these simple coloring books super fast and easy. Also, when you're selling it on Etsy, Gumroad, Amazon, your website, whatever, you don't wanna spend too much time on this set of uh, coloring pages. You wanna create a lot of sets and sell a lot of sets because you're gonna get a lot more sales. Another thing you can do, 
as I'm showing you right now, is you can actually overlay some of the stuff with white and just add a black border. And this way you can also have it really perfect for coloring. This is a very simple hack. If you don't want to redo the image, if you like the image, but you want just tiny fixes, by the way, it doesn't have to be just with a circle. It can be any other shape. For example, it can be things like this, okay? And with that in mind, I'm also going to show you another thing that can be super useful for you as well. So that is magic eraser. So if you want to delete some of the lines or some of the elements that you don't like, literally use magic eraser on Canva, click erase, and it's going to disappear or it will become white. And when you go back to the white background, it will be gone. You can also insert other shapes into the design that you want. Obviously, you know, the AI will generate it as it generates. But if you want to actually add some of your own shapes on there, Canva has a lot of them. So as I was telling you, you can add, for example, circles, but also you can add stars and stuff like that. If you want to make them colorable, of course, also make them white and add a black border. Now here, this image, like I said, I quite like the design of it. It's a bit strange, like why is there a bed outside and stuff like that, but still, it's actually a pretty cool image, so I'm just keeping it, but normally I would redo it because it has a lot of gray spaces on there. Another thing that we need to do to make this even more interesting, even more engaging, and also educational, put something like this. This is a, and you know, here I added a few dotted lines so you know uh, the child or the his parents whatever they can write what it is but maybe a good idea to actually uh, have the number of dashes corresponding to the word so it's a bit easier to understand what they should write for example here this is a you know what is a so it could be one of the toys or if these are toys so things like that so if we have the correct number of dashes, it's a lot easier for the children or their parents to actually write the word and they will be able to understand what it is. Now we have all the pages. Now what we want to do is we want to resize the images 8.5 times 11. So all you really want to do is yeah, type in 8.5 times 11 and then uh, all pages, right? And then click copy and resize. So Canva will actually resize it automatically and then open it up. And with that in mind, we want to do just a tiny, tiny bit of changes there as well. Just clean up. Another thing is, I think I could have actually done that at the beginning. So I wouldn't have to remake anything like here, but that's the way I did it. So if you're using this exact strategy, just bear in mind that you might as well just start with the 8.5. But the thing is, if you're gonna have two sizes, you're gonna have to do that anyway. That was my second size. Step four is to download as PDF for printing and for, of course, digital products. Because some people will actually print this stuff and other people might use it on something like an iPad or maybe some tablet for kids where they can color with like a magic pen or something. So um, all you want to do effectively is you want to choose a PDF and for printing, you want to choose CMYK uh, for digital RGB colors. And that is it. Once you have the products, you can actually upload it onto Etsy, onto Gumroad, or sell it on your own website using Shopify and stuff like that. As you can see, people are selling these products like crazy. Some shops have over a million dollars of sales with similar products. If you like this video, go on my channel for more Canva money-making ideas.